Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wilkie, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're doing two events for the price of one. That's right, we are romancing under siege and waltzing with Faye at the same time. So let's go into romancing with siege. It's not very often where we have two events going on at the same time. It feels like whenever it does happen, it's by accident. So I'm going to do the newer event first. The newer event, the older event. Well... Yeah, well, am I technically right on that one? So in these all dragons, I'm going to be using my best dragon team. Um, it's funny because the other event, Waltzing with um, Dragons or whatever, was released back when the game early launched. It wasn't, it wasn't like, it was like within maybe the first month or so. Um, never showed up again. It's never shown up in the entirety of two years. <laughs> And I don't know why not. It it's not like the dragon was amazing. The the boss has shown up plenty of times before anything else. For some for whatever reason. Get hype, Panther. Get hype. Mars, burn them to ash. Yeah, he's gonna kill him like horrifyingly. Even on two X speed. <laughs> Is that how you sound, Prometheus? I've never heard your voice before, so I don't really use you. When I'm done with you, yeah. fire burns. The soul still burns. You're gonna beat my brother. Die. He's dead. Congrats. He sounds kind of like Sonic the Hedgehog if they were looking for a new voice actor for Sonic the Hedgehog, which apparently they are. Um... What was I going about? Yeah, Walton Wiffy has not shown up in a long time. The boss has shown up in for, for like boss fights and stuff. Um, and in the Persona 5 <laughs> event recently, that boss is 100% modeled after him. Um, so it's really funny to see, actually, like this event return. I should have done more. Why didn't I hit? Oh, why am I so bad? Why am I the absolute worst player of Dracalia? Don't answer that question. I know the reason why I'm the absolute worst player in all of Dracalia. I don't need your fucking back sass to tell me why I'm terrible. I know why I'm terrible. I'm so terrible, I completely forgot to ask for a like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> so if you've made it this far to be talking crap about myself, then please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. But yeah, I'm surprised uh, that it came back. It's a weird event just to randomly bring back. I like it, personally. I like the story of it. Um, it's a beautifully told romance between um a bunny girl and her a dragon here be dust when i'm done with you here goes my good friend what, oh, what, are, we, what are you talking about panther you're not even here i'm switching over to my boy there he is i'm gonna beat you bro I can't believe that's how you sound. I've never used Prometheus. Love wins again, darling. You are correct. Oh my god. And I like Prometheus too. He seems like a real upstanding dude, but his voice... It's not that it's bad, it's just that it's an interesting choice. When I think of Prometheus, I th I'm, when I look at him, when you look at the design, you think, um, you know, hot emo boy, because he's on fire. Not that he's attractive to me. Um, not that there's anything wrong with that. Don't take that as that way. If you, just to be sure, I, I support you and I love you. Don't worry about that part. Um, but when you think about it, you think like, burn to dust. Like, you think of, like, that voice of just like, hello, sultry, good hello. Like, Pedro Pascal or something. Yeah, exactly, like the Mandalorian. Like, you think of the Mandalorian when you think of Pretty Boy, even though the Mandalorian has, like, a helmet on. You don't think of, like, Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, burnt dust. Yeah! Here I come. I'm coming all over you, FDing <laughs> this golem. <laughs> uh, I, I shouldn't be allowed a YouTube channel. I shouldn't be allowed love and appreciation, but I am. Thank you, ma'am. She thought it was funny. If you didn't think that was funny, 
I apologize. <sighs> okay. Love wins again, darling. I love Mim's voice as well. Again, I really do like a lot of English voices. I don't want this to seem like... Because to be honest, like when I hear Japanese voices, I also like to imitate what they sound like. But the difference is that I don't know what they sound like. I don't know what they're saying. And also, I don't know if it's good or not. I've never personally heard bad Japanese voice acting because I don't know what the fuck to look for in bad Japanese voice acting. Go here. Now we're gonna go waltz all over. Next stage. Um, yeah, this this boss has like an insta death feature. This is <laughs> this boss is designed like old Dragalia. Of course, everything breaks down. So let me pause and I'll be right back. Oh, of course, and my mouse isn't working. All right, we're back. But yeah, old Dragalia bosses are pains in the asses. They're all designed to be run against assholes. They've gotten a lot nicer and been more fair, but I always felt like they always did a bad job of making bosses too stupid hard. But I guess I get that some people love that. If you love that, then I'm sorry that you lost that aspect of something you liked, but just know that I hated every second of it. So obviously we cancel out. Whoop. And honestly, if something feels too easy, then they need to fight back and, you know, get stuff more to the other side. Which I think is what they're trying to do with Legend stuff. I for sure as hell can't do Legend stuff right now. I've tried. <laughs> I, 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 I unlocked it and I can't do it. Not yet anyway. I need to get my units better built up. Summon the Persona. Nice, he's dead now. There's no denying his death. Bang, bang, bang. Damn right it's complete. But yeah, I've already done this event before, so... It was kind of... I guess to some people this is a brand new event. Um... There are some people who joined Dragalia before the Dark Days. There are some people who have played Dragalia who have never summoned for a Warm Print. Think about that. Think about that. If you're a player out there who's never summoned for a Warm Print and are, and are just learning that Warm Prints were at one point summonable, let me tell you how it feels like. Because you don't know True Pain. You think like, oh man, I got a, a dragon I don't need. That's a shame. You don't know true hell until you've pulled a five worm print for your pity. And then you have to just look at it and go, fuck. What am I fucking gonna do with this one worm print that doesn't unbind or anything? Nothing. Like the entire like worm prints were such <laughs> a different thing back then. That was kinda hard to imagine a lot of different stuff going on. Um Like I honestly don't remember like, the most Worm Prints of 5 that I ever used were all free ones. Like, the Mem hit the books um, style thing, and the the Carnival one that you got with Ranzel on it that I used a whole bunch. Like, I used those, but having maximum binds of Worm Prints that were um, banner stuff just wasn't a thing back then. Like, Flash of Genius. Actually getting a full max unbind of Flash of Genius was hard to do. And was seen as something very good if you could get it, but if you couldn't get it, then it was like nothing. It was at the at, at release, I would still call it worse than the fake Grand Order um, craft essences, because craft essences at least don't break pity because if we go fake Grand Order doesn't have pity. First of all, if it did, um, it has a jank version of pity. It has. Not to digress, but the point is is that I thought that personally summoning on Dragalia was always worse than Fake Grand Order because there was too many things to summon for. Because most of the time I didn't really want a dragon. Most of the time I really didn't want a worm print. I just wanted the unit. And anything that stands in my way of getting the unit um, is bad in my in my eye. So that's how I felt back in the day. But I still I kept playing it. I kept going at it. And here we are today with two events. 
And now, that's the end of the video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Also, this had daily tickets, I think. No, the Valentine's Day one has tickets. It's hidden! You have to, like... No, wait. This one's hidden until you do some other stuff. I didn't notice it the first time I was looking through it. I've been doing it every day, I just haven't noticed the ticket. What are the chances the one time I go, like, I miss tickets, someone actually goes, you know there are tickets, right? And I go, there are? <laughs> I'm just so used to them not being alive. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you liked it. Until next time, everyone, I'll see you guys in the next video and in the next adventure. Peace out.